All right, so now what I want to do is take this into Illustrator and live trace it. Now there's certain things that you should have and shouldn't have on your image before you live trace it. Like I had a couple of layer things and what I'm going to do is choose a very dull color. See if I ramp it using a vivid color, what's going to happen, this is very contrasty. It's three shades. I can see three shades possible, not, no, and I want two. I don't want three. So I'm going to take all the vivid stuff off and I want this very dull looking thing right here. With this dull thing, I'm going to save it out as a PSD onto the desktop. And then in Illustrator, what I want to do, just trying some stuff earlier, I want to open that up and say flatten layers. I'm going to click on it and choose grayscale. This will live trace it to six variation gray. Okay, good. Six variation gray. Now, I want two variation gray, so I have to choose three. Confused yet? Yes. So I'm going to have spots of white I have to clean up. Good. Very good. So there is my two color job with a little bit of white I have to clean up. Now, what I have to do now is say, well, click on the object and go in here and sometimes it likes to be stubborn at this point. Click on it, hit expand, and that will explode it into a bunch of tracing paths. Good. Now, there's a tracing path here on the outside that's a pain in the butt. So what I'm going to do is choose the direct selection tool, select it, and hit delete. Nothing disappears but that tracing path. Also, I have one here. Anywhere that there is a closed in item, I can get rid of that. Uh, another thing is, let's clean up the overall area with the white. We don't want white as a color in here, so I'm going to go zooming in fixing some of the stuff in the eyes. Okay, and I have to zoom way in for this. So what I do here is click on with the direct selection tool these points in the general area until it closes off this area, just like that. Same with this. I don't want this here, so I delete some of these points and the item will collapse in on itself. Just like that. Another thing you can do is use the lasso tool and lasso around and delete. Lasso around, delete. Lasso around and delete. Very quick method of getting rid of those. Okay, another thing here, whole bunch of little ones. Delete. All right, good. We're on our way to a two color separation job. And, uh, well, let's fix up this area right here. I don't like that. so. If I click on it with the direct selection tool and choose smooth, I could smooth it out some. And then I can use this warp tool by holding alt and shift, clicking and dragging. And I can kind of bend this in a little bit. I don't like how that, it was just too big as an outline goes. Just like that. So that's how you repair an outline. All right, so in the next video, I show you how to color separate this with registration marks.